بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ويلكم ديو ستيرينس اجان ان نظر لسن ان شاء الله ان اول ساكن سمستر ود يستر داي وي ستارتد يونت فايف ان شاء الله تودي وي ويل كنتينيو ذا يونت ويد لسن تو بار ورك اوكي اف وي وونت تو ان شاء الله باي ذا اند اوف اور لسن يو ويل بي ايبل تو اسك اند انسر كويستشنز ريليتد تو inventions do you remember the inventions we covered in our previous lesson so you will practice asking and answering questions related to these inventions in, on page 48 and 49 okay so if we want to recall these are the inven inventions we covered in our previous lesson okay we covered uh, um, paragraphs about um, computers comparing the old and new of all these inventions Okay, and also we highlighted um, terms related to technology. So we skimmed the text and we uh, highlighted the, the words we think it's related to technology. These are the words we covered in our previous lesson. Invention, computer, PCs, screens, laptop, printer, device, television. Digital, cassette tape, recharging, megapixels. These are words related to technology. Maybe you had uh, other examples. It's okay. And also, in our previous lesson, we uh, answered these comprehension check questions related and based on the articles we have read together. Okay? I gave you this homework, page 117. Hopefully you did your homework. Um, what do they want you to do here? Complete the sentences about the photos. You have on your book, we don't have it here, but on your book you have different photos uh, related to inventions. Okay, so um, you have to answer based on these photos. Use words in the box. So we have to use uh, the words we can find in front of us here in these box to fill in the blanks okay okay let's read it together my aunt was at my house yesterday she and my mom made cookies i noticed that my mom never uses the what what do you think we should put here to make the cookies excellent microwave oven so we will put it here we will take this word and we will put it here if you haven't done the homework please pause the video and do the exercise on your own try to fill in the blanks on page uh, 117 and let's see the answers together okay i will read um, you can uh, read with with me okay my mom says that some things as we said here number one microwave oven so we will continue my mom says that some things bake better the old-fashioned way in a conventional oven so here we will put conventional which means excellent traditional she means traditional oven that's why a lot of household kitchens today have both types of oven okay cell phones now they move from uh, talking about ovens they move to cell phones cell phones are very small today and they have always been small well that's what i thought then my older brother showed me one of the very first cell phones my father had one in a box in the garage okay it was not small at all it was big and clumsy this is the word we will use in um, blank four and when my brother handed it to me I almost dropped it because it was so heavy and that's why people called it the brick Okay, this is the reason why they called it a brick. A brick, what does a brick mean? It's the, do you know when they are building uh, houses? They use bricks. It's a big stone. We call it a brick. Okay, 
they use it to build up walls and build uh, buildings and houses okay this is they said it's very heavy the stone is very heavy so they compared the old cell phone with the brick because it's very heavy okay it's amazing how our cell phones today are so small and so light okay my new laptop so they moved to laptops they finished with computers they're moving to, uh, with um, cell phones they are moving to computer my new laptop computer is really amazing it is so small and fast i love it i really only needed one other device okay to go with it i needed a printer they moved to printer uh, here but i didn't have to buy it the store gave me one when i bought the laptop okay the last part in our homework what what a deal my parents just bought a new tv it's a big screen tv and that meets the new screens is huge it's awesome the image on the screen is crystal clear and the sound is amazing okay if you notice in, in this exercise they used a lot of adjectives um, you can as an idea so to prepare your uh, for the further lessons uh, we will have uh, you will do writing and project you can gather all these uh, adjectives and write a list of the adjective you can use to describe devices yesterday we covered some and here i noticed there is a lot of adjectives they use you can keep a list of it so it can help you and aid you inshallah in our next classes so for our class today pair work page 49 what do they want you to do ask and answer about the inventions do you uh, remember the inventions on page 48 and 49 so we will ask and answer questions based on these inventions we will read the um, article again and try to come up with questions and answers they provided this uh, these two examples uh, how long have people used cell phones this is one question they gathered the answer will be they've used them since the 70s okay another question is how long have you had a computer i've had a computer for a long time so here they said long time and the 70s and they used since and for they use it to answer the question how long this is very important inshallah we will go through um, this rule thoroughly inshallah in our grammar lesson but this is just um, an example you can uh, think about before our lesson okay why did they use since and for when do we use since and for for we use it to indicate the period of time when we are talking about duration okay i can say for three days for three hours for three months okay here they provided some example for two months for a year for a long time these are example to use you cannot say for 2001 no when you use for you use it to talk about duration the length okay and since indicated when the action began okay so when did the action begun we use since like here since yesterday since last june can i say uh, since um, since 2001 yes because we are indicating that it started at that time okay the action okay so um you have to do something similar ask questions and provide examples uh, provide answers you should work with a partner you can't work alone you have to work with a partner one of you will come up with questions and your partner will come up with answers and then you can switch roles okay 
I have some example. If we look at the uh, article related to computers, okay? So we have all of these. Look at it. Can you come up with questions? And when your friend asks you a question, can you answer this question? Okay? So here I provided so, two so, um, examples. You can come up with other questions. You don't have to follow the same, okay? How long has IBM produced com commercially successful computers? Okay, this is a question. Uh, I asked using how long. Uh, IBM has produced commercially successful printers since 1953. Did you notice since they used it, um, used the date, a year next to it, so they have a specific time here. And or you can say for about 60 years. Both are correct using since or for. Ha another example, how long have people used smaller PCs? You can say they've used them for more than 30 years. Okay, here the answer with for. Okay, you can come up with other questions. It's okay and your friend will um, answer these questions based on the articles uh, you find the inventions page 48 and 49 this is a speaking exercise um, it's not a writing exercise it's a speaking so um, you have to try to create a question and um, your friend will answer these questions okay another one television here we have the article try to come up with question I have this example here how long have TV sets been common in homes TV sets have been common in houses since the 1960s or for more than 50 years both answers are correct you can come up with other questions and share it with your friends share it with your teacher and we have this um, exercise uh, this article which uh, about stove and ovens this is the example uh, some example question we have how long ago did the first microwave oven appeared in homes the first microwave oven appeared in homes about 45 years ago okay when you answer this question um, we don't mind the information as long as you practice the language it, the numbers they shouldn't be accurate it's okay as long as you practice this exercise mainly focused on practicing your conversation coming up with a question and with an answer try to be accurate but it's okay you can say 50 years it's close to 45 it's okay as long as you practice um, creating questions and answering these questions for the cameras how long have cameras been on the market cameras have been on the market for more than 120 years or since um, 1888 okay um, cell phones the, the um, example here we have how long um, for how many years have people had cell phones People have had cell phones for about 35 years. These, uh, this exercise, we have the answers. If you can focus on the answers also, uh, the used for and since, which is very essential in our next class. Consider it as examples uh, for our lesson, inshallah, the grammar lesson. So what did we cover today in our lesson? We asked and answered questions related to inventions. You have the inf inventions page 45, 48 and 49. Look at the inventions. Try to come up with as much uh, as you can, the questions as much as you can. Questions and your friend will answer and vice versa. You can switch roles. Um, that's it for today. Thank you for listening and inshallah I will see you next class.